Hey, I've got a fun episode today. It's a neat episode. Uh, a lot of people in Southeast Iowa in the Wayland area received one of these postcards recently and it was the open house for Ag Force Inc. And I got to sit down. I said, hey, I want to go check this place out. And I got to sit down with the owner, Jay Barquist, and uh, store manager, Ben Leakty. And it's all on this episode of Southeast Iowa Today brought to you by Griner Auto Body of Washington, Iowa, using state-of-the-art techniques and decades of experience to get your car back on the road after an accident. Car Doctor of Washington, Iowa, no matter who Frankensteined it, they can fix and clean and customize it. McDonald Boneyard of Kyoto, Iowa, for all of your farm equipment and auto recycling needs. Hinshaw Trailer Sales of Richland, Iowa. You need a trailer and they've got your trailer and they also fix what they sell and don't in their full-time repair shop. Girling Repair of Winfield, Iowa. If your mower is dead, call Fred, your Husqvarna, errand, and Gravely dealer. And he also fixes snowblower fo snowblowers, folks. And guess what? We don't have the snow now. It's gone, but it's coming back. And if yours didn't work last time, get a hold of Fred. B&B Propane and the family of Jet Stops present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey. The beat goes on and your host, and let's get right to it. Jay and Ben, welcome to Southeast Iowa Today Today, and Thank you for taking the time in this busy day at the open house of uh, Ag Force Inc. I, I lo almost lost uh, what I was going to say there. As I told you guys before we started, uh, I'd be the guy that would mess up or anything. So I told you that. So now we're out of the way on that. Uh, Jay, tell us how, what is Ag Force Inc. and how did it evolve and how do we now have a location in Wayland? So uh, Egg Force is a egg business that uh, services hog and turkey facilities, some cattle facilities. Um, we, in our jewel location, we have a service crew that goes out and manages, you know, does the maintenance on buildings and, and fixes emergency situations. Um, we also have a warehouse up there that uh, supports this one. And then we have, uh, I don't know, we have the Wayland location for both, you know, so uh, there's turkeys. Our main goal here was to uh, service the turkey industry, um, get parts to them quicker so that they could have everything at hand in, uh, in, in Wayland. How many different turkey facilities or entities are there in Wayland area? I know there's a lot. Yeah, that's a good question for Ben. <laughs> yeah, there's probably 10, 10 to 15 different growers in the area. Okay. Yeah, without looking at numbers, just off the hands. I know sometimes when I'm out, number. when I'm out on 78 heading east, every once in a while you'll see some feathers out of yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it's when they, when yeah. you go to market, they usually head out that way. So. That's right. That's right. Now, how long has Ag Force been in existence? 2005. 2005. So, yeah. Or 19 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. And yep. if I correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this location opened in August of 2022. Is that right? Or yeah, year year ago August. Year ago August. Okay. Yep. And you, sir, you uh, operate operate. Make sure things are going smooth on the Wayland end. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jay had asked me to. Um, he was going to open up the store. Asked me if I would come on board and help them, and and so I started in May of 2022, and then we through the summer of that year we renovated the the building here, and and then uh, in uh, end of August we started getting parts in, and and uh, we've been open since then. And what what's the address here? 406 East Highway 78. Okay, Wayland. gotcha. And is there a phone number that's best to get a hold of you yeah, guys? Yeah, the landline here is 319-254-4445. Okay, I'll do my best to put that up on the screen, okay. too, so people can see that. Well, um, do you guys have a website? We just recently got one. 
You know what that address is? I don't. I'll try and figure it out. Yeah, it's uh, uh, eggforceiowa.com. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll get that on the screen as well and put a link in the description so folks that are interested in learning more can uh, do a follow up on that. Um, today is, I mean, I've just only been here for a few minutes and you've had a lot of people coming through the doors. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Yes. Yeah, hopefully uh, future business people. Uh, it was nice to let people in town come in and see what, what's going on here. And uh, yeah. I mean, people drive by, probably don't know exactly what's on the inside. But yeah, well, this used to be an old auto shop. Yes. This place, you know. Yep. So uh, people, you know, we all are creatures of habit, and then we get into the the thought in our head is, oh, it's such and such place, and it's not that anymore. <laughs> nope. Even though you go by and it looks completely different on the yep. outside. Yep. Definitely looks different on the inside, too. Yep. Yeah, Rod Winger had it for quite a few years. Uh, I think in the mid-'80s he started, and then prior to that was, was a mechanic and auto body um, shops. Then too. And there was actually was a barber shop at one time. Really? Uh, yeah. In the front corner. So, so I'll be there. Had many different uses in, in the past. It's yep. incredible that the history of, of locations and, and places is just amazing and you know you talk to the right person you just unpeel another layer of the onion of, of history that you know and it's like i always i've always learned you don't know what you don't know yeah you, know? you really got to ask you know and, and i also you know it's like when you're talking to somebody they may not know what you know <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so gotta be aware of it. So, um, I look, if I'm just gonna do a quick pan here and yeah. just show some of the shelves, you've got all kinds of parts and things here. And I saw over here some fan blades and, and such down that way. I mean, there's quite a variety of equipment that you have right here. And then I'm sure that if you don't have it, you've got ways to get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jay, you and I, when we were off camera, we were talking about the fact that you have customers in Illinois as well. Yep. And uh, in, you're in Jewel, Iowa, where you're physically located. And did you tell me that was 60 miles north of Des Moines? Of Des Moines, yes. Yeah. Yep. So you guys have got a pretty good footprint started. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the sales part of our business has done well the last two years we've had an extreme amount of growth um the uh before that before when we was just in jewel then uh, our service footprint was very large as well i mean we go southwest iowa northwest Iowa, all the corners basically we didn't have a lot going on down here because most of the people that we did business with down here did their own work gotcha and, and so we we just figured it was a a good spot to have a a business that supplied the parts right. to begin with, you know. Yeah. At some point, I would like to do service out of here as well, because uh, if it's anything like home, the customers get a little older and they don't want to do as much work as they did before, sure. and uh, it gets easier for them to pay somebody to do it. And there may be uh, more work than they can handle at a time uh, yep. that they might need some help with. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you one thing. I've got friends and family that are entrepreneurs that I just, I really appreciate and admire what they do because they provide a good or a service that yep. people want. And it's, uh, you guys are right up there in that category too. And it's, it's always impressive to me to meet folks that basically are living and doing the American dream or part of the American dream. You're, you're, you have the freedom to have a bit, be in a business that you want to be in and provide and help um, other folks that are living the American dream. These uh, these uh, farmers and turkey agricultural uh, folks are business entrepreneurs too, and it's uh, it's just a wonderful American example. It really, truly is. And so I thank you guys for le letting me share this with people. And I found out recently I'm not only sharing this with people in Southeast Iowa, but my podcast is growing to where it's people all over the United States, and I've got five different countries. So I want to give a shout out to all those folks, even over in our friends in Canada, Mexico, uh, Germany. Uh, there was, uh, let me even think for a second, uh, United Kingdom. And then there was, 
And this is terrible when you start naming them off. There were five. I think it was the United States was the fifth. So I knew I had five countries. So I got them all. And I thank you guys for watching and listening. Ben or Jay, is there anything I should have asked you about Ag Force Inc. that I didn't or about anything else that you'd like to share with the audience? Just, just appreciative of the people from Wayland that have uh, you know, support the business. We had new, we had some cust just, existing customer base, and then you know picked up new customers. Just grateful for the opportunity to serve the Wayland community, and look forward to do that in the years to come. So, well, I'll tell you what. Um, you guys are obviously doing a good job, and the uh, the word of mouth is going to get out there as well in different ways that you advertise, and and uh, people are going to learn more and more. I I predict big things for you guys. We appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Well, I want to thank you both for being on Southeast Iowa today. That was relatively painless, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks to Jay and Ben for being on Southeast Iowa today. And thanks to our sponsors, Griner Auto Body, Car Doctor, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, McDonald Boneyard, Girling Repair, B&B Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm your host, John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa.